do stories physically affect you and your listener? And why is that important to public speaking? Well, you'll find that out in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday you heard that storytelling has been a long part of human history, long before we can read or write. Today, you'll discover the physiological impact that a well-crafted and emotionally rich story has on people. It's a concept I call the code effect. Co, cortisol. O, oxytocin. D, dopamine. E, endorphins. When you hear a story that is sensory rich and has emotional connection in it, these chemicals are literally released into your body. The intent of this video is not to make you a brain scientist. It's just to help you understand what's going on physically in your audiences and how you can create a deeper connection. Cortisol is often called the stress hormone. Well, good stories have tension. In fact, they build tension to a point where there's a climax. When you have good tension, you keep people's attention. They want to hear more, but then they also want that tension relieved. So know that cortisol is being triggered. Oxytocin is often called the bonding hormone. This is what creates a connection between people. Well, good stories, it's been said, will connect individuals. When you can share a story of a relatable character in circumstances that people can understand, that can create a bond. Dopamine and endorphins can give people a high. They can feel good when they're released. Uh, you've heard of runner's high in, in the athletic world. You can get the same kind of high with a good story when there is a happy resolution or there's a good ending that people not only can relate to, but they want. I often share this with people when they're telling stories in the sales world. Share the story of a client who is struggling before you met that person. Then talk about how your product or service made that person's life better. Well, that's what the audience also wants, a better life. That can trigger dopamine and endorphins in your listener. Again, today's tip was not to make you a brain scientist, just to help you understand that physiologically changes are going on in your audience when they hear a well-crafted and dynamically delivered story. Join us tomorrow and we'll continue this deep dive into understanding why stories work. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.